What's good? What's good, YouTube? Did they add a thousand years to the calendar? I go by the name Pushy Push. Definitely check out my TikTok below at pushy.push. Also, drop a like and subscribe right here to my YouTube. But let's get into this right here. So, I've been looking at this subject. Uh, did they add a thousand years? I guess for like a maybe about two years. And I finally think I came to my conclusion. When I look at this right here, you know, you can see it as I-639, the date at the bottom, or 1639. The thing that got me on this quest was, can you take a number font and turn it into an alphabet font? So that's where the confusion starts with me. It's like, well, this can be a one or a I at any time. That just depends on the person who's looking at it right there. So when you look at this, do you see I-639 or 1639? And I'll give a better example on this next one. So this picture is pretty crazy right here. Um, you can see the staff in his hand and the flag turning into a snake tongue. So this is pretty interesting. But down below, I was wondering, was this a date? So it says TXXX, and I know the X's are 10, so 30. And I didn't know what the T was. So I went to the Roman numeral, and there is no T there. You know, so I was like, wow, what is that T? And when you look it up, it says the Roman numeral for 1000 is represented by the letter M. And then it says the letter T is not used in modern Roman numerals, but it was once used to represent 100. So then I realized there was ancient Roman numerals and modern Roman numerals. And the T is for 100. So if I go back and I look at this, I'm look at my is this the date uh, 130? Is this the year 130? And this is the thing while I, I what I guess took me for a loop is because these are number fonts. These aren't letters at this time, which is obviously ancient Roman. These letters, the T and the X, well, they weren't letters then. They're, you know, they were number fonts. And this is like a babble effect because can you take numbers and convert them into alphabet letters? Like, I believe the words that we speak, we speak numbers, you know, and they're not real words because their origination was from numbers and somebody converted numbers into alphabets. So that is like a problem to me. Let's go down uh, a little further. This was another uh, crazy picture right here. But below, it uh, shows an X, a V111. And the X is 10, V is 5, so 15, 18. Is this the year 18? I did wonder that. Is this the year 18? But when you look at this right here, these are not alphabets. These are numbers. This is ancient Roman numbers. So how can you change ancient Roman numbers into alphabets? That makes our language a problem. The English language is a problem because it comes from numbers. Like most other languages don't come from numbers. And I think that is a little issue right there. This right here really, really took me, you know, um, this Bible verse. And it really brought me all, all the way home. It says, come, let us go down and confuse their language so that they will not understand another, you know, like another speech, like each other's speeches. That kind of uh, took me for one because the number fonts, that's what I feel like we're dealing with. It's like if you like conquer a person or conquer the people and, you know, like how could you change their, their language to such extent that you was able to 
turn number fonts into letters. You know, that is a big change right there. So when it says, come, let us go down and confuse their language so that they will not understand one another's speech, you know, you can look at that from a heavenly standpoint, but I look at things in a realistic, you know, like this book was written by men, you know, and they allegory the Bible to look spiritual. So when I look at number fonts, if an X is a number and a Y is a number and a T is a number, well, I'm trying to understand how can you change numbers into letters. That sounds like what I'm reading right here. That's Babel right there. I mean, you have two there's and you have two where's. Well, you have two odds. You have an I and then you have a letter I, like a one I and a letter I. You know, that's Babel right there. Let's look at this one right here. So this coin is around about the 800s or maybe 900s. And I want to read the alphabet part of it to you. It goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. There's no J. K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. There's no S, T. There's no U, V. There's no W, X, Y, Z. This right here, these letters right here were once <laughs> numbers. There were once numbers like the the T, you know, we just looked at that. That was 100. The V is five. The X is 10. How can you convert numbers into letters? That's Babel. That's that verse that I just read right here. And I'm saying that our language is Babel. Probably no other language in the world is based off numbers. This is interesting right here. Let's go right here. The date on this is 1120 to 1130. So this is an auction coin right here. If you look, we'll go on the alphabet part and say that too, like A, B, C, D, E. The F looks weird right there, but G, H, I, J, K, you know, but there's no J right there still. H, I, you know, there's no J. K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. There's an S now. T. There's no U, V, W, there's there, Y, and Z. So in 1120, there was no J, there was no U. And if you go further back, there was no J, there was no U, there was no S. You know, you can't put together the word Judah. You can't put together the word Israel, like my, like. You can't put none of these words together like Jew. You can't put those words together. You, you know, I, the, the words don't exist. There's no W. You know, there's no J. There's no U. And the problem, which when you start getting like these biblical names and all this, all of the names that you would say are written in number fonts. And I'm saying, what was the number font or the letter font? before it was a number font. And then you'll see like it's going back Roman. These are numbers right here. And no matter if you put them together to form uh, a letter, it's still the factor that is originally was a number. And to me, this is Babel right here. This is corrupt. We speak Babel because our language is based off numbers. They were originally numbers. That's a slave tongue right there. You got to think about that right there. You, like the world had to be conquered pretty hard in order for you to forget the signs and symbols that you once used. And now you're writing in number font and, and, and in the form of letter font. That's pretty crazy. Right here, it says uh, the Holy Scriptures. You know, if I wanted to, that V right there, I could look at that as a five. These letters right here, they all come from number fonts. So down below right here, the date, it says I-599 or 1599. Now, for me, that's an I right there. 
And reason why I'm going to say that, you see the height of the I? Okay, it is not in the same font as the numbers. So we want to keep that in memory right there, that the I is not in the same font numbers. So I believe that that's 599, I 599, not 1599. Let's look at another one, though. And this one might help right here. Now, on the left side, you can clearly see that's an I. And you see the height of it, where it's at to the five, 597. But on this right side right here, there's clearly a one. So what do you have right here? That's why I said this is an I. I don't think that you can change uh, a number font into a letter font and then take the letter font and add it to a new number font system. So 597 is a new number font system. This right here is an I, and right on this right side, that is a one. And you know this because the height of the font, you know, always remember that right there. Let's go back. You see the height of the font, the I, 599, the I is right at the little tip of the five right there. And it's the exact same way. But that's an I, and that's a one. Let's go a little further. This one right here takes it definitely to a, a, a whole nother level it says the almanac for the year of our lord and then it says i with a period right there 790 and then there's an i at the end of it with a period what does that mean right there is that 1791 and we can just regard that period right there or is that an i 791 like the year 791 or the year 79 I'm open minded, you know, but no matter what, I consider that to be an I because they put that period right there. That's an I for me. Uh, again, taking number fonts, ancient Roman number fonts, modernizing it to modern Roman num numerals, and then taking those Roman numerals and turning them into alphabet. To me, that's a conquered language. That is Babel right there. That is that Bible verse. Like we speak Babel right now. We don't speak real words. The other, the rest of the world got real languages. <laughs> English language isn't real. <laughs> so we speak it and I'm a master at talking it. So I speak Babel. Uh, there's a portion of my brain that might be insane because I understand this. Right here. It says uh, the year of our Lord. That could say 1943 or I-943. You see where the I is at? You see where that I is? That I is at the same level as that five was. So that's not a 19. That's not a 19. And that will let you know even right now that we're not in the year 2000. And reason being is because those who took over only have been in power roughly maybe 800 to 900 years, maybe a thousand years. They've been in power. But somewhere in that moment of when they conquered everything, it seems like everybody was asleep. So what is asleep? When you unalive the grandmother, grandfather, the mother, the dad, and then you have a kid and then you take the kid and then you put the kid into a learning uh, environment or institution and then you teach them number font to letter font. This is where we are right now. <laughs> so to me, that's I-943. That's not 1943. That's two different fonts right there. And that's crazy. So they took, again, ancient Roman numerals and then applied it to Roman numerals, took Roman numerals, and then converted them into alphabets. And now you can't tell what is a number or what is a letter. That is wild. We speak Babel. This right here is, I think, the thing that really has cursed the world. Like whatever the the Romans did, the Byzantine Empire, we do not know like how hard they might have conquered the world. We really don't understand. Like 
how hard they conquer the world. Like that 100 right there, the C, you know, uh, that was a T a long time ago. And then they changed it into a C. You know, this whole thing is crazy. Like you could go with the word Mike, M1000, I, C. So Mike for us could be microphone. This right here could be what? 1,100 or what? Yeah, 11,100. It could be English or a number at any time. This is Babel. This is that Bible verse right here. So who do I think the I is, uh, who do I think the I is named after? Some believe that uh, Jesus is named after that, like Isis. So everybody who does the research say that that's Isis because it says in the name of our, in the name of our Lord. But kings were also called my Lord. So it can go either way right there. But for me, the I isn't representing Jesus. And this is the reason why, or Isis. And this is the really total reason why. It's because Jesus is said to have died. I'm just saying this in reference tone in 70 AD. You know, um, at that time, they were using ancient Roman numbers and they wasn't using letters. So there's no way you could have had an Isis because they wasn't using letters at that time. They were using symbols. Those numbers that are now looking like letters, you know, at the time of Jesus, those were ancient Roman numbers. So there's no way you could have had Isis. There's no way you could have had Jesus. You couldn't have had those names. I don't even know if you could have had Yahshua because you got to wonder, is there a Roman numeral for the letter Y? You see what I'm saying? So if all the names that you come up with has alphabet letters to it, then I'm saying no one in the historical past is named with any Roman numeral uh, numbers that is converted into alphabets. There's no one. That's what the problem is with this. When I say lost history, you know, this is totally terrible. But this is uh, Justinian. And we'll look at Justinian's other name. So that's not an I. And I cannot say this right here. That is, I, I'm not going to even try. But that's a, uh, that's not an L, what I mean. But that is a capital I right there. Capital I. And this is who the Lord is. That's on the coins, all the eyes in the year of our Lord. This is who it is. So today we call him Justinian, you know, um, of the Byzantine Empire. That is what this is right there. So that I is his name. That's not Isis because Isis, Jesus, both those names right there at 70 AD, that was ancient Roman time. So they weren't using letters. The T at that time was a hundred. It meant 100. So there's no way this is maybe, uh, this guy was born, you know, uh, 480, yeah, 482 AD. So we're talking about a couple hundred years after the fact. So after this conquering, they obviously changed the language and the dates. And I'm saying the Romans, this is another wild one right here. This is another wild one. When you look at this coin, it could say 1586 or I-586. And what's interesting is on the left side, it says Roma, R-O-M-A. Now, we all say the word Rome. So there's vowel changing happen right here. So the, the A turned into an E later down the line, but Roma. And that O used to be an A, so... <laughs> It was Rama, you know, uh, the addition of vowels is very corrupt. So we're talking about they took ancient Roman numerals, then modernized it to modern Roman numerals, turned those Roman numerals into alphabets and then made vowels to those Roman numerals that all come from numbers. But 1586 or I-586, I want to show you something right here. 
it says, uh, when did Rome end? So it says Rome ended in uh, September 4th, 470, uh, 476 AD, 476 AD. They said the uh, Western Rome ended. Now, when I go back to this coin, it could say 1586 or I-586. If it's I-586, it falls within the timeline of 470, you know, like 476. It falls within that timeline right there. But here's the other part. Um, the Eastern Roman Empire. So when did that fall? The Eastern Roman Empire, also known as the Byzantine, fell in 1453 when the Ottoman Turks captured the city. So when the Moors, who are the Ottoman Turks, captured the city, 1453. Okay, so let's go back to that coin. They said that Rome was conquered in the 1400s. Well, how do you have a printed out Roma coin? And is this the 1586? You know, uh, is this the Ottoman right here? You know, uh, that that is why well, I said this was interesting right here. Let's see if that's an I, then you can place this coin much older. And I would place it older because of the word Roma. The A comes before the E. So I would see that as an I, I-586. And I see this coin during this time period of the Western Roman time period, you know? Interesting right there. So is that I-586 or 1586? For me, that's an I right there. When you look at these coins, this is why I said, you know, the mixing of Roman numeral fonts, turning them into um, alphabet fonts, and then taking the alphabet fonts and adding them to number fonts. So again, the 736, that is a number font. You know, the I right there, that is a letter font for me. You know, but again, it can be a number. It just depends on, you know, the person who's looking at that. But for me, this whole thing is Babel. That is what this whole thing is for me. It's Babel. If you take numbers, which we consider to be letters today. So in the Roman, ancient Roman times, the letters that we use today were numbers. You take those numbers and then you come, you you change them into letters to where people are using those numbers as a writing system. I think in order to do that, a lot of people was conquered, and that makes that portion of the Bible come out. You know, let me go all the way back real quick just to look at that right here. It makes this part of the Bible come out. Come, let us go down and confuse their language so that they will not understand one another's speech. Well, yeah, I'm never going to understand anybody say in Africa, they don't speak a, a number language, you know, um, they, they do now, you know, because, um, you know, this writing system has infected the world. But in the beginning, everybody was using some form of uh, uh, almost like hieroglyphic writing, like the Chinese, their Mandarin is, is pretty much close to that right there. So. I think that's Babel to change, uh, to, to turn numbers into letters or alphabets and then, you know, make a whole writing system off of that right there. Uh, that's modern. That's not ancient right there. And you can only do that when you have conquered something. So I think the English language is Babel. And I think that letter is an I on all the coins and pictures. So uh, thank you for watching right here. You know, uh, I know this is wild right here. Uh, you got to be open minded on this. You know, um, you got to come up with your own opinion. You can't follow everybody. So I don't expect you to follow me, but I am giving you what I found, you know, and what convinced me that that is an I, you know, and that this verse right here is for real because I'm talking to you right now in Babel. I'm talking to you with number tongue, in my opinion. So definitely uh, sub, 
drop a like and uh i'll definitely be dropping another one thanks for watching